There we go, that's a regular old gear shift. And then we can make the adjustable chain gear shift, just like that. There we go, so we have both now. One we can use, the other we're gonna throw into the tablet. Also, if you noticed there, I don't know if you, you could read into the subtext, the computer is once again full. That's how close we are constantly to just not being able to use it. There we go, now all we need is a redstone signal. I don't think we have a lever in this thing, but we do have a stick. Oh, you can use cobblestone. That's... That, that, that doesn't seem right. Every time I've tried to do this in the past, it's asked me for smooth stone, hasn't it? Or am I just going crazy? Oh, that works for some reason, but it hasn't changed the direction of the fan. All it's doing is slowing it down. What? This looks so ugly, I hate it. There we go. Now all I have to do is, uh, during this whole thing, I have to... I really don't want to replace that. I don't want to replace that one at all. So what I'm going to do is instead I'm going to replace... This one here, I think. Yeah, I'll replace this one here with the gear shift. And then I'll stick the lever on the side here. Where the hell is the lever? Okay, now it's sucking. All we've got to do is up the power. Okay, it can't go maximum speed. What about one below? Nope. Two below, three below, four below, five below, six below, seven below, eight below, nine. 10, 11, 11, but watch the point in having you then if you can't move any quicker than the regular speed. Either way, how good is this? Not very good at all, apparently. Okay, what if we do this then? We move this away. We instead replace this with uh, a chute. What if we replace it with a chute? Give me my chutes. If we put this here, does this auto filter into the chute? No, it does not. Okay, what if we put a depot on the end? We don't have a depot for some reason. And my game has crashed. I am gonna kill- Depots. Right, yeah, I needed a depot, which is... And it's like casing in an alloy. How have I not put you in here? Hang on, surely that's one of the first things I would have put in here, right? Really? Okay. Yeah, I'm not building another one. Give, give, mine, yoink. Thank you. There we go, double depots, so that I can put one back here. And I can also use the other one, uh, other one over here. What if I put this here? Does it immediately fly onto the depot if I chuck you onto this? No, but I'll tell you what it does do. It crashes my game. I just got back. Well, um, I'm back and it didn't work. Uh, it just threw it straight underneath. So the only alternative would be to put the depot here and then move the fan over. So, one must imagine Sisyphus as happy to be lugging around that big ass fucking boulder. So now if I throw something onto the depot, it's still not being sucked up. Why must every second of my life be misery? That works. You can see it getting sucked up once it has a shoot. That's actually a pretty cool animation. But from there, where do you go? There's nowhere to go from there. It is stuck. I don't get it. Because without the initial funnel, it can't start moving. But if you give it the initial funnel, where else does it have to go? But up. Unless I stick a depot up here as well. That might work. Maybe. <laughs> In a million years. Okay, if I bring you across like this, that still does nothing. Then what is the point of you? The only solution I can possibly think of to this is just put the inscriber lower, like this. Take this funnel and stick it on top like that. But even then, I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, it's just stuck. One must imagine Sisyphus as happy. Right, if I give this thing some redstone power, then it should start powering itself. Or not, what the fuck. Oh, you're connected there, are you serious? Oh, slurp my nutsack. If you can't go any faster than that, then why do you exist? Well, that was entirely pointless. You're not even enough to move a single cogwheel. You're pathetic. Okay, so it works if, it works if it's completely encased. So what, do you want me to now put a brass funnel on the fucking chute? That works? Okay, you know what? If it works, it works. I'm not gonna fucking complain because Jesus Christ, this is irritating. Okay, so assuming it connects to the depot, which it does, what happens if I now try and get it to connect to a conveyor belt directly? For example, if I do something like this. Will it put itself on the mechanical belt? It will, great. I would have kind of hoped that this would have worked without the funnels, but okay. 
I guess this is fine. Now all I've got to do is attach the encased gear drive, not there, into position. And then I've got to try and find a way to reverse this. So if I instead grab a hold of the gear shift, placing it here, changing the rotational value over on this side. Why the hell does a lever not have an EMC value? That is the most random shit. And my game has crashed. Great, love that. Right, back, what was I doing? Oh yeah, right, so I've got to invert the current by using this, and then I'm going to drag it upwards using the encased chain drives. And what that can hopefully do is, if I just uh, put this on correctly, bring the power over to this side of the conveyor belt. There we go. So if I remove this part, it just took a moment of thought, drag this up, not like that, drag this up and then invert it like so. It's going the right way. Now what I can do is I can grab myself the second inscriber, I can use brass casing as just like a building block here. Drop the inscriber the no. Then add on the brass funnel here. What? Oh, for God's sake. I can then add on the brass funnel there. I can rebuild the mechanical belt like so. What do you mean? I've turned you off so many times. There we go. We've got a successful input. But it's to the wrong side. The whole point of this was to drop it down! Which means we actually have to put the inscribing press here. And then we put the funnel on top, like so. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So, whenever this thing generates us a uh, printed logic circuit, it should then pop out of this side and get fed into this stupid funnel system. This stupid funnel system should- Why are you not moving? What has changed since we did this last time? You work perfectly fine with these. My suicide note is going to be the length of a novel. Let's try that again. Every time we create a printed logic circuit, we drop it on here. It goes into the funnel, the funnel, stupid funnel system, sorry I forgot its full name, floats it up to the conveyor belt, it then goes onto the conveyor belt and gets fed into this funnel, which then feeds it into the top part of this inscriber here. Now, if we go back to the 1K ME storage component to make a logic compressor, we need printed silicon in the bottom and redstone dust in the middle. We can feed something up through the bottom, that is possible, is it? Wait, hang on, no, because of the way this is located, this might not be possible. I'm gonna have to drag the whole thing upwards, aren't I? The whole thing is gonna have to be dragged upwards by several blocks. Okay, well, the important part is that this system works. We just have to move it slightly. Give me more encased chain drives, please and thank you. And give me more of the shoots. Wait, they don't have a DMC value, do they? Yeah, four more should be enough. So all I've got to do, we need a singular one of these to work as an input device, I believe. I think things can be shooted directly up. And the next thing we need is a fan. Now, very quickly, because I keep forgetting, do fans have an EMC value? I don't think they do. Uh, no, they do not. So we've got to go make another fan. And then we have to put the fan, not there, but on top of there. There we go. Then we can remove this. Now, hmm, bollocks, this isn't going to work. Because there's not enough room for the actual item to be inputted. Yes, there is. We can use the side of the funnel. Oh, I'm good. Okay, so all we've got to do now, grab the encased chain drives once again. We can lay these across the top. Or actually, you know what? No. Let's not use chain drives. Let's use gearboxes for the for the for the for the shaft aesthetic of things. Like so, and then we can change it so that that's a good input, like that. Then all we have to do, run the shaft back along the outside here, and we can feed the shafts into the gearbox here. Like so. Now, I don't know if that means it's pushing or pulling. Let's check the particles. It is pulling. So we need a second inverter. Let's stick it here. Now it's pushing. All we're going to do, grab the chute, put that back down, and then wrench it so we can see the inside. From there, our next task is to actually input from the bottom, I believe it was redstone, if I'm correct. Let's just check that. No, the bottom one is printed silicon. Okay, so in order to input that, what we're going to do, we're going to grab a uh, brass funnel. We're going we're gonna to put a shaft down here 
and then we're gonna put a shaft down. Hmm. What kind of distance are we working with here? What would be a viable distance? Let's just lay a bunch of these out so we can see. If I right click on this, it'll show me how far away they have to be in order to be connected. There we go. From there, we can then run. We would need a miniature one, so we'd have to go one, two, and connect those. Then from there, we could run a... Actually, before we figure out how we're gonna lay this factory out, we should probably figure out how the hell to make printed silicon, because it's been a long time. Printed silicon is another inscriber, are you kidding me? With silicon and an inscriber silicon press inside. Now, both versions of silicon can be EMC'd, which makes things very easy. But if we wanted to craft them, then we'd have to come up with individual non-EMC sources for sand, nether quartz, and charcoal, and personally, while I am willing to do that, I'm not doing that today. So the EMC option it is, which means we've got to get ourselves another inscriber. Hold on, you know what? No, I'm not going to go craft it. We're stealing this one. Screw it. Which means we need the output of this inscriber to feed onto this conveyor belt like so. But that also means that we've got to give this inscriber an input and an output. One for the middle, one for the top. So we know how to work it from the top. And the top one is, because it's just printed silicon, the inscriber silicon press, which... Actually, now that I think about it, we don't need one from the top. All we have to do is put the inscriber silicon press in the top. With that, that one, it is a renewable thing. It doesn't break. So what we've got to do, we've got to take this, plop it in there. Now all we need is the middle one, which we can either do from the front or the back. Now, because I'm trying to make use of all of the space I've got, I think our best bet would be to do it um, along here, just so it doesn't take up that big of a space. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab another one of these, put it down here, and we're going to use the side-on method here. And we're going to bring this here like so. So if we now grab another one of those uh, mechanical belts like so, I believe, yeah, this will just start inputting into there. And this input was silicon. So what we can do now is we can grab ourselves another energy condenser. Uh, bear with me while I grab one from upstairs. There we go. Energy condenser mark one. And now let's grab some glowstone from this chest. And let's make ourselves another one of the mark three collectors. Ah, we're missing the furnace and the diamond. Hold on. That's the furnace. And that's the diamond. That's it. So that's the mark one. Let's go and grab some red and antimatter from downstairs and we can make the mark three i said antimatter didn't i i meant dark matter whoopsies there we go that's the mark two and then all we've got to do click on this click on this and then we've got the mark three absolutely brilliant so now if we put the condenser it has to be one block up doesn't it so if we use this as a uh support i guess then we can take this out again we can drop this on top then we can drop the glowstone on top of this so it's always at maximum efficient efficiency We've then just got to grab some plastic to put in the top. Now, I'm going to go with Ava plastic for this compared to the regular and more common version of plastic, just because Ava plastic is what's required for me to make all of my funny guns and bullets that you see me sometimes having. So I'd rather have a surplus of this than not. There we go. And now all I've got to do is use one of these brass funnels to add an output. Brilliant. So... Next up, I've got to give this thing appropriate levels of power. So, I think the best bet would be to plug in from this place here, using an encased chain drive, moving across, and then we can use ourselves a gearbox. So if we flip this this way, my only issue, or my only worry, is that it's going to be the wrong type of direction. Really, that was, that was too much for the water wheel. That was too much, okay. In that case, then, we're gonna have to come up with a new version of power. So, what would be our best bet in this sort of situation? I mean, I guess I could always just move on to the flywheel sort of stuff, but I, I don't really want to do that because I don't know how it works. Fuck it, let's just get another water wheel. It's not like having the, the, the really stupidly expensive speed controllers actually does anything in the way of increasing speed anyway. What's the point in having all of the other settings if setting them to the other settings just doesn't work? It overstresses the system when the whole point of it is meant to be to speed up the system. Thankfully, these have an EMC value, so I shouldn't have to craft these much longer. Longer. Or at all, there's no thankfully about it. Or possibly about it, or whatever the fucking word it is that I said. Give me my damn water wheel. You are shitting me. How was that in any way connected? Well, either way it's fixed now. I don't like it, but it's done. Why is there a torch on the floor? And why are you not doing anything? Okay, so the good news is I've figured out why it hasn't been working. 
So, you see what this says right here? You see how it says silicon? Well, the thing is, I haven't been feeding it silicon. I've been feeding it plastic. You know that thing that is decidedly not silicon? So in order to fix that, I need to get myself a bucket of lava and I need to go and make some silicon because we don't actually have any on hand. Thankfully, I know just the place to find it. Actually, you know what? No, we're not going to help. We're just going to do this. I mean, technically speaking, this should be infinite lava anyway, but for some reason, chunk loaders don't work in this mod pack. Uh, so it's not. But we can fix that just by loading the nether in. But yeah, anyway, so uh, this is silicon. We have 16 now, which is great. All we got to do, got to feed one to the tablet and put the rest into the condenser. 